Our next performer behind me on the stage is no stranger to Folk East. He has performed at nearly every festival so far with the likes of Bolo Head and the Gig Spanner Big Band with Peter Knight. He's also a regular in our Gardener's Cornered feature which uh, will also be coming up later on this afternoon. He's been exceptionally busy throughout lockdown, uh, not releasing one but two albums with Jackie Oates and also with the Gig Spanner Big Band. And he's been coordinating Zoom sessions online. Yes, proper Zoom musical sessions online, bringing people together uh, throughout lockdown. He's performing a solo set today. Or is he? Hmm. We'll find out. Please put your hands together and give a folk east welcome to John Spires. Thank you very much indeed. Um, lovely to see everyone out in the open with smiling faces. Are you having a good time? Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> We're very privileged. And um, I'm going to start off, uh, as was hinted, um, uh, it's very sad that we couldn't be um, here with the Gig Spanner Big Band this year, um, playing uh, all the stuff from our new album, which we were booked to be playing. And um, what's made it worse is that uh, Peter Knight, our kind of leader and mentor, uh, lives in France. And so, you know, they'd have to postpone the festival by 14 days if we want to get him here. So, <laughs> so luckily, uh, what we've got is... Uh, a compromise. Um, um, myself and Peter play in a duo which was kind of kindled by this festival, um, putting us together a couple of years ago. And um, so live by satellite link from France, not really, it's a recording. Here is Peter Knight. Please give him a big hand. Hi everyone, Peter Knight here. Hi John. Sorry I can't be with you today. John and I are going to play a tune for you called The Halsey Scottish. It was written by an English hurdy-gurdy player called Nigel Eaton, who was in a band called Blowsabella for about 20 years, along with a fantastic fiddle player called Dave Shepherd. Normally when John and I play together, 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 we listen to each other when we're improvising around a traditional tune. Unfortunately, I can't be there, so I pre-recorded my part which means that John has to listen to me and I can't listen to him and react to what he plays. And I promise you, John's got the harder end of the bargain here. So when the tune finishes, ladies and gentlemen, give him a big cheer. So here we are. This is The Halls is Scottish by Nigel Eaton. Hope you enjoy it. Stay safe. Bye for now, everyone. Bye.
Thank you. Thank you, Peter, for recording that. Oh, I'm glad I had practice for that one yesterday before we went live streaming with it. <laughs> yeah, so, um, so I'm going to carry on now um, and do something a bit more lively and upbeat for you. And because um, I think this is really sort of the time of a festival when people should really start dancing. Yesterday, when I started playing sets, some people obligingly did dance. And in fact, we found out that. Uh, Impromptu Morris dancing is one of the best ways of ensuring you're socially distanced from other people as well. So uh, if you fancy having a go at that, then please do. I'm going to give you a couple from my home county. Um, these are both Oxfordshire tunes, and uh, they're called Dearest Dickie and uh, the Princess Royal Bampton version. <laughs> Thank you. 
That's your five minutes of exercise done. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, lovely stuff. Okay. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the pace of this down slightly again now and I'm going to play uh, a couple of tunes. The first one I think is one of the most beautiful dance tunes in the English canon um, and it's, uh, it's interesting that it's a dance tune that comes from a very silly song called The uh, Most Beautiful Leg of the Mallard but this dance tune version is one of the richest sort of sounding tra trad dance tunes that I know. Um, and then I'm going to follow that with one of my own tunes. So we'll do The Mallard followed by my tune called The Dawn Chorus. <laughs>
Thank you very much. So, um, well, I'm just looking at the sky, and uh, I think um, now would be a very appropriate time to do a bit of local anti-rain dancing. Um, you can definitely all join in. Um, don't stamp too hard. You might bring worms up in your little squares to the surface. But uh, I'd like to welcome the stage, um, one of the stewards here at Folk East, and actually a fantastic step dancer in her own right. Please welcome Fiona Davis. So we had a little practice earlier and uh, thought we'd showcase some local Norfolk step dancing. Is that right? You know? Yeah. East Anglian. East Anglian, yeah. Let's not be too uh, separatist about this. <laughs> uh, so the tune I'm going to play is uh, a local tune called um, Joe the Boat. When you're ready, I'll just play in the <laughs> Thank you very much, Fiona. <laughs> Some lovely step dance in there. So yes, um, now, I'm, now I'm gonna have to time my set because we put that in. Uh, what am I gonna do? Okay, I think I will uh, say this is my last one. And if it's too fast and I've got a bit of extra time, I'll tack a bit of extra on the end. Uh, thank you so much for coming along and I really do enjoy the rest of the night. Um, we've got some fantastic acts coming up, especially the next one, which I'm also in. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna change my melodeon for this last one. I'll go on to the angry melodeon because I don't play it enough. <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, I'm gonna start off this set with a bellowhead cover. Um, oh, you may have heard of bellowhead. I like to think of my solo actors uh, very much like Bellowhead, but uh, like Bellowhead where you can actually hear the melodeon. <laughs> so the first tune is a tune I wrote called Jiggery Poker Work, and then I'll go into a tune that Bellowhead didn't do because they didn't think it was good enough, but it is. Um, and it's another one I wrote called Abingdon Sunset.
<laughs> Thank you very much.